What's going on, YouTube? In this one, we are going to be showing you how to care for round gobies. He's just back there. When caring for round gobies, you want to make sure to have a bare landscape. Preferably sand with pebbles on top, a piece of driftwood, and very few plants. Now, this is very important for them because they are from lake bottoms. Now let's talk about filtration. Here I have a Tetra Whisper 5 to 10 gallon filled with some filter floss, a coarse sponge, and a fine sponge. Now the coarse sponge is for biological nitrate cycle I mean and if you don't know what that is I'll explain it to you right now when fish produce waste it produces ammonia which is very toxic so you need to build up bacteria on the coarse filter sponge which eats the ammonia and turn it into nitrate which is also very toxic you want to wait again for another team of beneficial bacteria to eat the nitrate turn it into nitrate which is less toxic and you take it out during water changes Also, I have a couple of clams in here and snails which help filter the water. Now, if you want to talk about tank mates, this is some tank mates for them. You can use clams, um, mine are named Bob and Charles, and uh, you need to do temperature. So, this, now Bob, Bob and Charles aren't really a part of this, so let's stop talking about them. Vladimir likes the water at a higher pH. So six to, I'd say eight pH is good. Now let's feed them. Don't worry, any temperature is good. Now I like to feed them blood worms because that's his favorite treat. But in the wild, he eats little slams and mollusks, which is good because I have some little snails here. See that one right next to Bob? Yeah, they not only eat algae, but Vladimir eats them and I can just get them from my pond. So, yeah, that's pretty much good tank mates for them.